Hey guys, Tyler here from Small Craft Outfitter, Small Craft Fisherman, and the Feel Free Kayak Fishing Team. Uh, doing a quick and dirty video here. Um, haven't done one in a while, um, but we got a new product in that we're really excited about. It's a new Feel Free Flash uh, Recreational Slash Fishing Kayak. So we're going to do a quick walkthrough and first impressions for you. All right, here's a little profile for you. It is a Flash PD-11 by Feel Free. PD for pedals and 11 for 11 foot. Just going down the profile here, I'll go through it front to back, but just to show you what it looks like, this is the Midnight Bolt color, which is kind of a gray and black camo with an orange lightning bolt through it. It looks amazing in person. Um, it has a rapid pedal drive system that you see in other boats, such as the Sea Stream Angler or the Big Fish series. And the seat, very similar to the Easy Rider that you see in the Moken series. So first with the hull, of course, it's got Feel Free's wheel in the keel, which makes it very easy for transporting or rolling it to a boat ramp or in short grass or hard packed dirt. We have the hull itself. It's got a nice large tank well area with a crate storage here. So starting first here with the hull, it has the wheel and the keel in the back, like most Feel Free boats, all Feel Free boats. Um, makes it really easy for transporting, wheeling it to the boat launch or in hard packed dirt, etc. It's got a nice size tank well here with some bungees. Um, you could definitely get a, a crate in here for your fishing gear, your tackle, or a cooler, or a small cooler and tackle. It's got a nice open deck, standing platform right before the pedals. I'll get to the pedals here in a second, but if you take a look here up front, um, this hull is based on the Feel Free Juntos, which is a recreational boat. Um, I actually use them uh, personally for a throw and go for a while, use them for a rental boat. Great platform, it's actually really stable, but still light. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the Juntos is the seat was a canvas seat right flat on the deck and I have back issues. So I had a hard time sitting in it for long periods of time, but you'll recognize the handle here and part of this front bow shape from the Juntos. Um, but the Juntos itself is very stable, very fast, light. Um, the, I could actually stand and fish in it. It's just, it was hard to get up off the floor and stand with my bad back and knees. So that is fixed in this model with the flat deck, standing pad, and then the raised uh, seat here. So getting into the pedals, like I said, this is a rapid drive pedal system that you've seen in other similar model boats. It has the indexer here to bring your prop straight up and down so that you can bring it up. I'm just gonna do it manually since I'm holding the phone here. But it's the same prop as the Feel Free Overdrive. You have your grease points just like the other pedal drive systems. This one is chain drive inside. It's actually really nice and smooth and quiet. Um, but if you grease it, it gets even quieter. And there's a tension adjustment. Uh, Feel Free sends the instructions on how to adjust the uh, chain tension there in case you need to tighten that up over time. Uh, but it is in here nice and firm. It has a bungee as a safety for the latch here. Bring that down, it's got a really sturdy latch. Just pop it and then the drive itself just flips up. So you can flip that up out of the way. It rests right here on a ledge. So if you're not using it, you can just keep it there if you're in shallow water, what have you. Um, the deck itself, we have scupper holes as per usual for drainage. These pads are raised up off the deck. Um, the deck itself actually looks very similar to the Moken 12.5 version two that I use as my main boat. Um, it's got the two standing pads. If it's like the Moken, they're on a piece of fiberglass so raised up off the deck. And then underneath the seat here, we have good drainage, just like on the Moken. Might be kind of hard to see on the video, but um, the deck should stay nice and dry. Then the seat itself looks very similar to the Easy Rider seat on the Moken series. Uh, it was quite easy to assemble. I just had to put the back on from the factory and it was already installed in the rack. But you just lift up on the front here and you can adjust it. And then just tighten the safety or security strap here to adjust your size and the the straps nice because it'll keep the seat from flipping up if you're pedaling hard i know i tend to lean back on the back of the seat quite a bit when i'm pedaling and this will stay nice and firm and it won't allow the seat to flip up and then if we go to the rudder control here this is a lot different from the uh, rudder controls we see on the feel freeze and so the eight ball has a side to side and it works it's super smooth um, and it's nice and solid and it has a good motion. Um, the other nice thing is the rudder cable system was all installed from the factory. All I had to do is uh, put the beaver tail rudder on here. And the beaver tail rudder is the same as you see on the 
other feel free family of kayaks nice and big should give nice turning uh, when you're pedaling and it's got a central uphaul cable and the central uphaul cable is nice it actually makes it a lot easier to pull the rudder up and down especially if you get into sl some sloppy stuff and your rudder's caught up on some weeds all right going back up here by the tank well like i said there's some divots here for a crate to sit in uh, milk crate will actually sit perfect in that. I used a, just a plain, plain milk cr uh, crate in the Juntos. A couple of rod holders here. Um, feel free to mark this boat as both a recreational and fishing kayak. Um, I think it'd be perfect for that. It kind of fills a gap in the market. We've had a lot of customers saying, you know, I want, I want a recreational kayak. I want a pedal drive, um, but I don't want a hundred pound boat, and I don't want to spend, you know, twenty five hundred dollars on it. I don't want it so wide that I can't lift it and throw it up on my roof rack. Well, this solves that. I mean, it's 60 pounds, under 16, just under $1,600 with pedal drive. Um, you could definitely pop the pedals right out. They just slide out the slot here. Pops right out super easy. Throw it in the back of your car. Then um, fold the seat down to throw the whole thing on your roof rack or in your J-racks, what have you. It's Yet it's stable enough. Um, having floated this platform before, I'm interested to try it um, myself. All right, I'm gonna try to get down underneath the hull here. So you can see it's kind of the tri-hull that Feel Free um, puts on a lot of their kayaks. This one is straight from the Juntos, it looks like, or very similar. It has a slot, obviously, for the pedals. Um, but very stable platform, having floated the Juntos before. Um, I expect it to, to handle quite nicely. Um, I, myself, thought about switching to this um, from the Mokin. The only downside for me is the weight capacities. Uh, the specs from Feel Free are 250 pounds. Um, at, at that weight, I'd be fine, um, but I wouldn't be able to take as much gear as I usually do. I'm a bass fisherman. If you've seen my videos or fish with me, I take a ton of gear, but this would be a perfect throw and go kayak to throw, you know, a lunch in, a couple rods, go out for a quick uh, fish fishing expedition after work or before work or what have you and if you the fish aren't biting you can use the pedals and get a nice workout and kind of troll around the lake so um, again this one's already sold I was hoping to take it out um, but since it's sold I want to keep it nice and new maybe the customer will let me uh, take it out when he comes to pick it up we can give it a try and show you guys what it's like on the water uh, a couple last things to show you. Unlike the Juntos, it has this cool bungee strap up here, which would be nice to throw. You could strap some extra clothing or a dry bag with some gear in it up here. You could use it for a paddle keeper and just jam your paddle underneath if you want. Um, it does have the same pedals and crank arms as the um, Feel Free Pedal Drive and the other uh, Rapid Drives. They did put a lock washer in there, which I really like because uh, that was an issue with those backing out on um, the older pedal drive systems, so that should be fixed. Um, they also blue Loctited the uh, the nuts here on the prop, so that's good. Um, it does come with an extra um, shear pin too, in case you should need it. Um, it's got the rails, the mounts for feel free as you normally see. On this side here, we have the uphaul cable for the rudder. Um, like I said before, since it's a central uphaul, super easy to bring it up and down. Uh, it's got a handle here, which is a notch you can kind of grab onto if you need to. It does have the molded in handles on the front and rear like most feel free boats do, which is nice for securing it with a lock or strapping it down. And then it does have a paddle keeper here with bungee, which works nice. Um, feel free has this on most of their boats. On the Juntos, it's actually back here, um, which was kind of awkward to get to at times. Uh, not so much when the seat was on the floor, but with this raised seat, the central uh, point of strapping your paddle and it'll be much easier And here we have the rod holders like I mentioned before um, With the leashes if you choose to use them two of them and they bow out, bow out to the side here They have a little bit of a lean to them. So they'll stay out of the way of your gear and Then the drain plug here on the right side um, An extra handle here to grab for moving it around and then the serial number here on the lower side Thanks for watching my uh, first impressions and walkthrough video of the Feel Free Flash. If you guys want to pick one of these up, um, get a hold of your local dealer, um, a small businesses such as myself. Really appreciate the business, especially since it's been so tough the last two years with COVID and supply chain issues, even getting kayaks in. Um, definitely support your 
local dealers if at all possible. Um, if you want one, grab one fast. We got a bunch of kayaks in and they're selling really quick. Um, and if you're not sure who your local dealer is, go to Feel Free's website and they have a dealer locator there. You can find your local dealer. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching.